Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Ladd McNamara. This is a Monday Mindset. The mindset is beyond supplements for better overall health, better quality health. Today, we're going to talk about asthma and supporting your airways with better quality supplements. Now, anything I say in this video anywhere else has nothing to do with any, any supplement manufacturer at all, and it's completely generic and is not diagnosed or whatever diseases. But anyway, my point is talk to your doctor about any supplements before you embark on a supplement program. You consult with your physician and, and this is information only and not medical advice. That's the most important thing. But since it's generic, I don't you make up your own conclusions there. As far as asthma goes, since we're talking about that, one in 13 people have asthma. And asthma can range in anything from that's mild with a, just a cough, a mild cough. And some people that have mild asthma may not even know it's really even asthma until for, for a while. But they just have this kind of chronic cough for a little bit. And then it can get to to where there's wheezing and other problems, and it can get quite severe and cause hospitalizations and uh, even death. And as a matter of fact, it's, it's quite severe. In the United States, there are over 2 million ER, emergency, emergency room visits per year from asthma, with over 10 people dying every, year, every day in the United States. That's how significant it is. Uh, and there's no cure for asthma. It's one of those things that is just lingering. Uh, as far as what asthma and many of you already know this, but it's a restricted uh, airflow to the lungs because the bronchial tubes, the bronchial airways are swollen and the, the muscles, the smooth muscles that are in the bronchial tree, the bronchial tubes are, are spasmed down. They spasm down, they close off, and the airflow can't get into the lungs. So that becomes a problem. Well, the risk factors for asthma are these, genetics, Allergies, if you have an allergy, you have a risk factor for it. Uh, as well as being overweight or um, also, what do I have here? Smoking. Smoking is, is a risk factor for having, for having asthma. So you have, may have uh, it's subclinical asthma where you don't even know you have asthma. And then if you start smoking and all of a sudden the asthma comes out, it's like there it's it. There it is. Um, air pollution and then other chemical exposure, whether it's in the household chemicals or whether it's uh, in, environmental t chemicals or in the worksite chemicals. Uh, also molds, if you get in aerosolized molds or dust mites, and actually it's the feces of dust mites that people get uh, exposed to, that can, can trigger or can cause asthma. It can also be the triggers to asthma. So you have the risk factors for it, then you have the triggers. So the triggers are also very related to the, the, uh, the risk factor. But exercise, many times just exercising can be enough to cause the bronchial tree to spasm down and can set up an attack. Um, allergies is a very common one. Um, having, what does this say? Oh, again, the same thing. Cigarette smoke is very common. As, as uh, pollen can be seasonal allergies that to certain um, pollens in the air, ragweed, etc. Pet dander, also um, chemical, as we talked about, chemical exposures, viral illnesses, have colds or flus that can set a trigger an asthma attack, or having food allergies, just eating something can set off an asthma attack, and GERD, the gastroesophageal reflux, you know, acid reflux can, is enough to have that acid kind of bubble up into your, into your pharynx, your throat, and then you inhale that, and the acid goes down into your lungs, and that can be enough to trigger off a, an asthma attack, and you're just kind of chronically coughing. And again, the, the asthma attack could be mild just from coughing, or it could be worse to send you to the emergency room. Or even medications can set off, trigger an asthma attack. Well, here's the thing. Here's the meat of it, the mindset of it. Understanding the underlying physiology of it, what's going on at the cellular level. At the cellular level, it's all about oxidative stress and inflammation. It's the oxidative stress that gets triggered that then the smooth muscle to spasm down and all of a sudden your bronchial airways and your lungs that are open they close down and all of a sudden you can't get the airflow into your lungs and you're having trouble struggling to breathe and people that's what causes people to die let alone of course they go into panic then they panic and it gets even worse this whole perpetual problem and the inflammation you have this uh, the immune system is triggered 
So you have this immediate response with the bron bronchial spasms as well as the, the system response. Well, what's the opposite? As you know, many of you know, if you're on here watching this, you probably know. The opposite of the oxidative stress are the antioxidants. Antioxidants counter the oxidative stress. And some of those powerful, besides being quality multi-antioxidant, multivitamin, antioxidant, and minerals, and fish oil, a quality fish oil, you want to also be on a quality grapeseed extract. That's what I've seen with over 20 years of using and recommending quality nutritional supplements. Uh, grapeseed extract has far and away been one of, the, one of the go-to supplements that I've suggested to my patients and others who've dealt with airway disease, particularly asthma and even allergies. I've seen have tremendous benefits with that. Um, usually, I would recommend in the area of 200 to 400 milligrams twice daily uh, for uh, for those to help support their airway. Uh, curcumin or turmeric extract is another powerful antioxidant. All these also have other benefits throughout the body for overall. So even if the, even if somebody is not suffering from asthma, they should be taking it for their overall health. Along with grapeseed extract, also from the red grape is resveratrol, very beneficial as well. Now, I'm not just saying this and making this up. The medical studies have shown the benefits, of whether it's in the animal model or the human model uh, studies, it has been shown to have benefits either at the, at the cellular level or showing the reduction of oxidative stress in the asthmatic model. And green tea extract. Also, here's one, the beta-glucan supplements. Beta-glucans, what are beta-glucans? Well, they can be, they're derived from the reshi and shiitake mushrooms, as well as baker's yeast extract. Beta-glucans have been shown to be beneficial as well, as well in the studies on, as, asthma attack, on asthma. Other studies have shown melatonin to be very beneficial. Why melatonin? You think, well, they, that's for sleep. So if you get better, yeah, better sleep could indirectly help, but also melatonin can directly benefit too. Melatonin is a powerful antioxidant. Melatonin, when you take melatonin, let's say the best way to take it is a sublingual melatonin, a very pure melatonin. It just doesn't go to the brain. It goes everywhere out the, throughout the body. It's a powerful antioxidant. And in and of itself, it helps relax the smooth muscles uh, um, because of the antioxidant. But it also, because of helping you get into the deep dream state sleep, it can help then release the growth hormone. It can help then release, they help set off this whole hormonal cascade at night in the circadian rhythms to where you know, the other hormones and the DHEA and the, and the proper cortisol levels go up the next day to help balance out the, the body. And then when you keep the DHEA levels up and you keep the melatonin up and you keep everything in balance, I don't know how it all works, but bottom line is the melatonin has shown to be beneficial in those with asthma. That's the bottom line. Well, if you want the medical references on it, the medical citations on it, I have that on my website, ladmcnamara.com. You can simply look at the, look at the where, where, how to spell my name, two Ds and lad, and McNamara is M-C, not M-A-C. Simply look at what you're, look at where, who posted this, ladmcnamara.com, and you can see that article and other articles and more on, on asthma and nutritional supplementation. Here's the thing, the mindset. The mindset you want to have is, it's not just any old supplements. Most people go to the store and buy some, some this or that over the store. And that's what, and we could just sit by and watch people do that. We see, I mean, think, it's not my, not my business whether they do it or not. If you care about somebody, if you care about yourself, your family members, or your friends, you'll let them know that, hey, there are quality supplements that make a difference in people's health. Their overall health, whether they have a, allergies or whether they have any health issue or not, if they want to have support their true health, they want to have overall good health, with, let alone support with asthma and allergies. If they want to make a difference in their health, it's the a foundation of good vitamins and minerals and fish oil, bottom line. And I would suggest adding to that grapeseed extract. That's at least a minimum of what I would suggest as a good foundation to support good breathing. Um, and at least a double dose of that grapeseed extract as to support the, the uh, better health. That's the mindset to be in. Uh, twice a day, every day for life. That's the mindset. The mindset is just not just one a day.
a you know, one vitamin a day. I don't talk about the brand one a day of vitamins. I'm just talking about taking one vitamin a day. That mindset came in because I thought, well, people won't do more than one little vitamin a day, so we'll, so we'll just make it easy with taking one vitamin a day. And that's where the – now we have to understand that the mindset is if you want – health, you need to take quality vitamins, you need to take it at least twice a day, every single day for life, and it just, and you can't get it all in one tablet, otherwise the size of that tablet is going to be bigger than you want to take, and uh, you won't be able to swallow it if it's that size, so you need to be able to have it separated out in several tablets, it takes several tablets. The mindset is everything, get the mindset right, and then, then you can just follow through with it and take them every day, and we have, I have other videos, and all of the tablets and, and many other issues and other things that will help you. So, all right. Well, go out there. It's a great week. Enjoy it. For this, uh, w enjoy the weather wherever you are, whatever it's like. Enjoy it. Thank you, everyone. Bye.